So this video is a review of the order of operations um, and how you use them when you are using signed numbers, so positive and, and negative numbers. Uh, so the first problem that we're going to look at is 44 minus a negative 11 plus 55. So our first step with this is going to be to deal with this double negative sign right here by taking those two negatives and making a positive. So this new problem will become 44 plus 11 plus 55. And then we just do these in order. 44 plus 11 is 55 plus another 55 gives us 110. The second problem, negative 2 times the quantity 8 minus 10 plus 3 times the quantity 4 minus 9. Order of operations says we need to start with the parentheses first. So I'm going to do the 8 minus 10 step and the 4 minus 9 step first. So 8 minus 10 leaves me with negative 2 and 4 minus 9 leaves me with negative 5. Then I'm going to keep the parentheses around here even though I've completed the math inside. Um, so that I have a way of reminding myself of what is going on between the 3 and that negative 5 and the 2 and the negative 2 because that operation is multiplication. So the multiplication is going to happen next. Negative 2 times negative 2 will give me a positive 4. 3 times negative 5 will give me a negative 15. And when I add negative 15 and positive 4, I end up with a negative 11. Then our last practice problem for this section is what we call a complex fraction, uh, because the whole thing is a fraction, but it has a numerator and a denominator that both have math in them. So our numerator is 9 times negative 8 plus 5 times negative 1, and our denominator is 12 minus 1. So our first step is to simplify the numerator and denominators separately. So I'm going to do this multiplication problem and this multiplication problem. 9 times a negative 8 is a negative 72, and a 5 times a negative 1 is a negative 5, and those two numbers are being added together. In the denominator, I have 12 minus 1, which is 11. Then to complete this top, negative 72 plus a negative 5 will give me a negative 77. And when negative 77 is divided by positive 11, I'm left with negative 7. And that's the end of your review of order of operations with signed numbers.